Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm Mike Collier, and I'm the finance co-chair for the Texas Democratic Party. And thank you. Two years ago, I addressed this convention for the first time. I was new to politics, and I was furious that Republicans fired 11,500 teachers, and I decided that I would run. You honored me with your nomination to serve as Texas Comptroller, and together we fought a very hard fight. Now, thank you. Just to be clear, I did not suspend a 30-year business career, which I thoroughly enjoy, to run a statewide race and lose and go home. I ran to win. Democrats must win, and that's why I've stayed in this fight. Thank you. For more than a century, for more than a century, Democrats have been the undisputed champions of the working and the middle class, and what's good for them is good for business. Only Democrats can stop the Republican political machine in Texas from tightening the screws on working families who cannot seem to catch a break. When all Texans, not just the sons and the daughters of the well-to-do, work hard, climb the ladder, make a better life for themselves and their families, then everyone prospers. Business booms when the working and the middle class feel secure and have money in their pocket. Business languishes when they don't. Now, if you know business like I know business, you know that this is a fundamental law of economics. Maybe I shouldn't call it a law. It would just be one more law for the Republicans to ignore. <laughs> if our political leaders understood simple economics, they would give the working poor access to health care, affordable health care. They would expand Medicaid. They would expand Medicaid, as other states have done, or develop an even better Texas alternative. I don't care. They would raise the minimum wage, at least adjust it for inflation. Right. When they give tax breaks, they give us the breaks by reducing the sales tax. The sales tax is the hardest tax on the working and middle class, and it's the one tax Republicans refuse to reduce. They'd close the property tax loopholes. that gives the big corporations a huge break at our expense. And my biggest beef with Republicans, if they understood simple economics, they would provide even the poorest Texas children with the education they need to do well in life and make good money. I agree. Now, my Republican friends, my Republican friends try to defend their Republican heroes, and they say to me, Mike, isn't Texas an economic miracle? Well, I got to tell you, for all their boasts, now listen to this, for all their boasts, Texas is in the bottom half of states in terms of median family income. We could do better. Unemployment is worse in Texas than a third of the other states in America. We can do better. And all those companies moving from California, I hope Governor Abbott is listening to this, all those companies leaving California, only 15 percent of them are coming to Texas. The vast majority of the companies that are leaving California choose not to come to Texas. The problem is Republicans believe their own hooey, and that's exactly my point. They believe their own hooey, and that's exactly my point. One party Republican rule is not what's best for Texas, for economic security, and for the future of our powerhouse state. That's why I am a proud Texas Democrat. Now, as a businessman, I'm proud to be a businessman, but I'm not proud of all businessmen. There's one in particular, maybe you've heard of him. Real estate developer from New York turned circus act. Rich man's son, Donald Trump, calls himself a great businessman. Well, let me tell you something, and I hope Donald Trump is listening. I've been in business for more than three decades, and I've worked with the best. I've worked with the greatest. Donald Trump is not a great businessman. No way. Bragging about taking your investors to the cleaners while you take your companies through bankruptcy again and again and again and again, that is not what great businessmen and women do. Donald Trump is an embarrassment to great businessmen and women. He's an embarrassment to great businessmen and women. And I can't believe our governor 
thinks that Donald Trump is taking us down the right path. Can you believe that? Are you kidding me? Are you telling me, Governor Abbott, that building walls, deporting millions of families, banning Muslims, praising dictators, insulting and mocking and dividing Americans, and insulting my friends and insulting my neighbors who have cultural and family ties to Mexico, are you telling me that's the path you want America to go down? No way. No way. But thank God, in a few short months, we're going to awaken from this hideous nightmare called Donald Trump, right? We're going to awaken from this hideous nightmare, and we're going to awaken to a day that is brimming with pride, because we will have shown everyone, ourselves in an anxious world, that democracy still works, that Democrats still get the job done. It'll be a proud day, and we might very well wake up and say we've elected the first woman president of the United States of America. I am very proud to be a Democrat. I am very proud to keep working. And we're going to win this, but we must leave nothing to chance. So my friends, when we leave here today, we have to do our work with passion, with energy, with the force of our convictions. The work that we are in is essential to restoring civility to American politics. And above all, when we leave here today, we must hold our heads high as proud Texas Democrats, because we're the ones that are fighting for what's right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.